Did you know that a transcript can make your video more accessible and engaging to your audience? If the organization you work for is using Microsoft Stream, you can get a transcript with the click of a button. But no matter how good speech-to-text software is, there's bound to be a couple of things to fix. So today we're going to look at how to generate and manage transcripts for Microsoft Stream on SharePoint. I have navigated to Microsoft Stream on SharePoint. To generate a transcript, click the video like you are going to play it. On the right-hand side of the screen, open the video settings. Transcript is the third option down. Click the arrow to see more details. Then you will need to click the Generate button. As of this time, transcripts are not automatically generated. A floating dialog box will appear asking you to verify the spoken language. In this example, the default of English United States is correct, so all I have to do is click Generate again to confirm my choice. The transcript file may take several minutes to generate depending on how long the video is. Once the transcript is done, you will see a Transcript button in the right-hand navigation menu. You can read and edit the transcript from this pane if you have edit rights to the SharePoint site where the video is uploaded. In this example, I see that Teams is not capitalized as it should be, so I can quickly fix that. Scroll down to the next section and make any changes as needed. In a short video like this, the changes are easy to make right here in the transcript pane. Now that I have fixed the couple of mistakes that I found, all I have to do is click on Done. When the video is longer, I find it easier to download a copy of the transcript and edit it rather than scrolling through the transcript pane. When you click download, a .vtt file will be created. Mine automatically opens in a text file because I have set that default. You may be prompted to choose an app to open the file. You will read through and make any changes as needed. When you are done, save the file somewhere you can find it. I typically save it to the same folder where I keep the raw footage. There is no wrong answer here. Do what makes sense for you. Make sure you put .vtt behind the name of the file, though. If you don't, Stream won't allow you to upload it. And now I'm going to click Save. Navigate back to the Video Settings and the Transcript and Caption section. Here you can upload the file and create a second transcript, or you can click on the three dots next to the original one and select Replace. A floating dialog box will appear. Click Select File and navigate to where you saved your file, and then click Done. Notice that the file name updated to Sample File, so I know it was successful. Go back to the Transcript tab in the right-hand navigation menu. The thing that I find interesting is that when you upload the corrected copy, you also get more granular timestamps for the transcript instead of the larger 30-second chunks we saw earlier. Now you know how to generate and manage transcripts in Microsoft Stream on SharePoint. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. It really helps my channel out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.